G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Um, this is a, a video from BP Earthwatch as regards to CERN. Um, I'm kind of hoping once I do this video, um, people can get in touch with him and show him what I'm going to show you today to correlate his evidence because he's literally put his uh, neck on the chopping block, so to speak, to help us all out as regards to what CERN is doing to all of us at the moment. And I recently uh, got told and uh, watched something where it was said that he was told by the powers that be that it was more or less a, he was getting death threats, etc., if he continued on with the CERN stuff. So all of a sudden he started doing CERN again and it's, uh, I believe all of us should be supporting him 100%. Um, like I said, I'm going to go through this video and show you guys what I'm going to show you. Um, but in this video, he clearly shows um, how the magnetic waves coming into the earth are being completely manipulated and spiking um, considerably. Um, you know, and he, he's consistently shown this over time and how bad it is for us on this planet. Um, and, and that can't be uh, just shrugged off as just something. It's actually very, very important. Um, now, this is the one he did. He did another one today. And it's showing that the same thing. And, uh, you know, whenever CERN kicks in and does a big bloody thing, apparently the sun kicks back, you know, with as much force as what we're throwing at it. Um, you may remember this gentleman here, Pete WDHCO, who is actually extremely efficient in his videos as regards to what is coming towards us. Um, there's a semi pseudo religious part to it um, and also a very scientific part to it. Um, and Pete also owns this channel, Slave Planet, um, slaveplanet.com, which is just sublime. You, the, the information on here is just incredible. If you haven't been on it, go and have a look. Um, but something happened the other day that um, last Saturday, I believe it was, Strop rang me during the day and uh, said, you've got to watch this thing. And I said, oh, okay. So I got on there. And what Strop was talking about is the magnetic north monitoring for magnetic field in Karuna, which is in uh, Sweden, I believe. Now, that doesn't seem that dramatic watching it at the moment, but I'm going to show you something in a minute that's going to back up exactly what uh, BP Earthwatch was saying on his site as regards to CERN running at high power. And I believe these are all interconnected. Now, I'm not going to give you a scientific breakdown. Pete said to me that I could use this, uh, what I'm going to show you, but I'm only going to show you in the regard as that I'm going to show you. I have no idea. Um, I've got a fair, I've got an inclination of what it means, but you will obviously see it and you guys can come to your own scientific conclusions. I'm not a scientist and I'm not going to stick my head above the parapet um, in that regard, but I thought it'd be important for you guys to see this and try and match it up with BP Earthwatch and try and get BP Earthwatch to maybe talk to Pete or have a look at this on his own. Right, I'm going to show you now. This is the actual... Um, video that I did the other day. I think it goes for six minutes. I don't know if I'm going to let it go for six minutes, but I'll show you this anyway. Here it goes. 
pay attention. I've turned the volume off because it was basically me swearing because <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And this is this is a data graph of uh, the Karuna. And you know, just look at this. This is extreme, folks. This is past extreme. It's actually unbelievable. Now you have to watch this. Did you see that? That's nothing. Wait till this, wait till it really kicks in. This is North Pole, by the way. And no, it wasn't a glitch in the system. This actually happened. See how it disappeared off the page? There you go, it disappeared. It went so far off, it went off the, off the chart. And this is just showing you <laughs> just how far it went out. Look at that, folks. These are the arrows. These purple bits are the arrow. Now, you can actually see the cross there. That's the North Pole. That's North. Look at it over here. This, this is, this must be, you know, thousands of kilometers out, literally. But I'm not too sure, certain, so I don't want to raise big fears or anything like that. But that is monumental, monumental, just incredible. Twenty two hundred it starts. You can't even imagine that, can you? I'm guessing if you're thinking the same as me, why didn't we feel it? Well, this is magnetic north. So it moved, the Earth didn't. So for, say, a 12-hour period, the Earth was just magnetically went berserk. That's why we didn't feel it. You know, it wasn't so much the Earth lurching about, it was actually magnetic Earth lurching about if that makes sense. You know, if, if the Earth was moving this much, there'd be 10 mile high waves. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it because we wouldn't exist.
then it goes back to normal. And like I said, this is how far out it went. Now, don't forget, there were several times where it disappeared. So it actually couldn't even chart it at some stages of this. So if anyone has direct contact to BP Earthwatch, get him to have a look at this and match it up with what he was looking at on CERN on the same sort of days, if that makes sense. Right, I've got one other thing I want to show you. Okay, folks, <clears throat> this is a picture taken in Harvey, LA on the 27th of June, uh, May between the hours of 7 and 8 p.m. This was uh, taken by a lady called Sandra O'Quinn LaMason, I believe, in Harvey, LA. Um, and it was posted, oh, sorry, it was taken on the 27th of May between the hours of 7 and 8 p.m. at night. And the picture was sub subsequently posted on Sam Hoffman's uh, page, Facebook page, and a subscriber of mine from Canada sent it to me with Sandra's knowledge, I believe, and said, you have to look at this. Um, it's an amazing picture, and I'm going to show you exactly what's in it in a minute. And it, it, without me even doing anything, you can actually see the planets on it already, can't you? Um, just under the sun, to the left and right, uh, to the top, it's just everywhere. And, you know, so thus making it an extremely good picture. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this while you guys are watching it. And I'm going to point some stuff out to you. Here we go. This is inverted. Now, have a look at the water. Always remember this. Water never lies. It can't lie. And um, what I mean by that is it will show you stuff. The reflections will, sh will be shown. So there's a reflection there. See the planet there? Planet there, planet there, planet there. They're everywhere, folks. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. It's like party town at Planetville. Right, this is value inverted. Basically, this big black blob so that doesn't really achieve much this is inverted and value inverted now can you see down here look it's revealing everything you still see the planets these ones over here, I believe, or these over here. All right, this is a gamma test. Now, before I do that, now you know where you're looking down here. Look at all the planets and shining in the water that are being illuminated by the sun. Bloody hell, there's so much going on here, it's hard to, hard to keep track. <laughs> Guys, as I've said, and as other people have said, one day they'll get so big they just can't cover them up. Well, this is what's happening now. Look at this. You can actually see them in the water. You can physically see them. 
that's all these here just in the water are these here you can actually physically see the size of them which is pretty bloody scary Right, well, that's that's a gamma taken all the way down. I can't take it down anymore. All right, brightness and contrast just to sharpen them up. So you can't can't take it down too far, which is not a good sign either. Let's just change the color coding on it. This thing here has not changed at all. So whatever it is, it is massive. See that there? That's that there. Right, what I'll do is There you go. Look at that there. See the, the circle there? That's that there, I believe. One of these there. I'm going to take this off. It's not really coming out clear enough. I've had it better before. And what I'll do is... Oh, it's not working either. One second. Okay, back to square one. Let's go invert. And I'll see what happens when I do the gamma test on this particular picture. Jesus. Now you can see the, look at the size of that thing. See where my cursor is there? That is that thing there, shining on the water.
Bloody hell. That there is just here. But you can't, you just can't make it out properly on the tests. Okay, folks, well, I kind of figured out how to do it. And what I've got to do is actually reduce the brightness because the brightness is too, it's too bright. So I've reduced the brightness right down. And as you can see, it's clearly there. That's that there. Clearly there. Scary thing is it seems like there's something up here as well. And I've always said of recently that there's one at 11 o'clock, one at one o'clock and one down here. Now I don't want to take it down too much more is what I want to do. It's just change the coloration on it which should bring out the colors better or bring out the objects better. Let's see how we go. Still too bright, not bright enough. Yeah, it's not really working out on this. You can see that clear as day. You can see that clear as day. It's just that this is just in the wrong position. You can physically see the white spot there and the white on that. If you get it in the right position. Well, folks, you can't miss them. And with the scary thing is, is that there's hardly any picture that comes to me now that I can't find something in it, which is bad, very bad. One second, I'm going to try one last thing. Well, okay, folks, in actual fact, that is not that. That there, can you see that little pimple on the side of it? Is that. See the pimple on the side of it there? So I was wrong. It's not It's not this one here. Oh yeah, look at how many there is. One, and there's one, two, three, four. There's this massive, huge thing here. Another one here. Uh, all these over here. There's literally bloody hundreds of them. But this planet here that's sitting on the side of the sun can actually see the physical uh, pimple on it, if you want a better term. That's it there. And then you see all these, one, two, three, four. You can actually see them there in the water. One, two, three, four, that group there, like a little cluster. See that? That is that bit there. Definitely. So, bloody good picture. Anyway, prep out.